I'm Mike Balsamo. I'm the U.S. Law Enforcement Editor for the Associated Press. An indictment was just unsealed charging former President Donald Trump with 37 counts, including the willful retention of national defense information, along with obstruction of justice and various other charges. Uh, this is stems from a special counsel's investigation from the U.S. Department of Justice that has been ongoing uh, for many months now related to President Trump's handling of classified records and the retention of those records at his Florida estate known as Mar-a-Lago. This is an unprecedented moment in history. It is the first time the U.S. government has charged a former president uh, with federal crimes. These are very serious federal offenses that allege that the former president held on to classified government documents, uh, including documents that describe nuclear capabilities of other governments, attack plans, uh, potentially of military attacks by other foreign governments and a number of other uh, classified U.S. secrets. The former president has alleged she's done absolutely nothing wrong, that he had the right to declassify government documents. Uh, however, this indictment spells out measures that the former president took, uh, along with a co-conspirator who was charged in this indictment, Walt Nada, uh, Trump aide who worked at Mar-a-Lago. And basically what prosecutors say here uh, is that Trump directed Nada at some point to remove boxes, to move boxes of records that were held in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, the indictment spells out specifically one instance, a conversation between Trump and his lawyers, uh, in which they're discussing receiving a subpoena from the Department of Justice. And Trump says to one of his lawyers that he doesn't want them going through the boxes. He doesn't want the Department of Justice to go through the boxes. And wouldn't it be better if they just said they didn't have any records? The former president is expected to appear before a federal judge here at the federal courthouse in Miami Tuesday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Uh, this morning, the president announced that he was shaking up his legal team. He was bringing on an attorney, Todd Blanche, who represents him in his New York criminal case, a separate legal matter, uh, and that two of his attorneys announced this morning that they had resigned from this case.